Hey friends, welcome, welcome. We're gonna jump right into it. Today I'm making fried bow tie noodles and I got this idea from Copeland's. It is the uh, seafood restaurant that me and my grandfather used to go to all the time and the main reason that we went was because of the spinach artichoke dip with the fried bow tie noodles. So since I can't really get it right now or I don't wanna drive there for takeout to get it because it really wouldn't be the same once you get back home, I'm gonna try and make it here myself. And so I've already got my bow tie noodles because um, we had pasta the other day and we had some extra so I figured out why not try and make the fried bow tie noodles. So I have my eggs, I used three eggs and then I whisked them together really quickly. I added my buttermilk and continued to whisk it together. Then I put my breadcrumbs in a clear bowl so that way I can have the separate bowls for dipping in the milk wash, dipping in the breader, and then putting it in the fryer. Okay, I've got my bow tie noodles here. Once again, I already had these cooked from a different recipe. So, um, yeah, if you don't have bow tie noodles cooked already, just boil them in some water, like five, 10 minutes. You don't want to overcook them though. You never want to overcook noodles, but in this case, I feel like it's really important just because you're going to dip them in egg wash and breader, and you don't want them to be mushy before they can even get to the fryer. So, yeah. All right, here we go. I tossed my bow tie noodles in the milk wash, which again was just the buttermilk and egg, and then I proceeded to put them in the bread crumbs. And these were already seasoned, they were pre-seasoned. I bought this from Publix so that way I wouldn't have to do too much work. And then once they are fully coated in the bread crumbs or bread coated, I just put them in the fryer. So there's a lot of adjusting while I'm cooking most times. I started off with a spoon to stir them in the coater, but then I realized I needed to switch to my spatula here so that way I could dip them and not drip the oil all over the place with the big spoon. My spatula has slits in them and it's clearly meant for frying and picking up things out of the fryer. So that's why I switched to that one. But if you don't have that, it's really not that deep. You can just Put it in with your finger or the spoon you just have to be careful about the oil My first batch of noodles are almost done. They're looking nice and golden brown. So I got my plate and napkins together so that way when I pull them out, they can drain on the napkin. And then I started working on my second batch of noodles so that way I could keep this going in a nice continuous motion. Once they're done, you take them out. They're so cute and golden brown. Look at them. And they kept their shape, so I'm really happy with the results.
So at this point, as you can see, I am tossing them in by the handful. I've gotten a pretty good amount already drying in the napkins on the plate there. And so I just decided that I was going to go ahead and use all of my noodles that I had in the bag. That way I wouldn't have any noodles left over because I didn't have any more pasta sauce from the previous meal that I originally used these noodles for. So my last batch is almost done cooking and I couldn't help myself. I had to try a few of them before they were all done. But I did scoot the majority of them over so that way I'd have more room on my plate and give the fresh noodles some extra paper towel to dry on. Alright guys, so my bow tie noodles are all done. Aren't they so cute? Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. Alright, so I mean obviously you can eat them plain by themselves just like that. But um, they're usually paired with a dip. So you have marinara sauce or um, spinach dip. I made this spinach dip. That's why it's in a container like this. Um, I made it a few days ago and it was really good so that's why I wanted to make the bow tie noodles and I'm so excited to eat them together. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you try it at home for yourself.